Good God, what a mess. Well, I came back from camping last night and uh, in my usual camping fashion, when I go home, I just throw everything in. And this is what it looks like after I come back. Uh, I don't pack anything, I, I just wanna rest. But anyways, um, we just got back from a trip from the East and Sierras and everything worked out great. And I wanted to give you guys a tour of my van, but first, I'm going to have to clean everything up, so I'm going to use a little magic. Boing! All right, so through, through the power of magic, I was able to get everything cleaned up really quickly. And uh, leave a comment if you know what specific kind of magic I was using to clean everything up. But anyways, uh, so this is the way my band looks um, when it's clean, when I'm not traveling. I don't have my assistant to help me with the camera today, but I'll try to give you guys a tour, uh, a full tour of this view. I do have some videos that show separate things and there are videos uh, for the building of it too. So if you're interested in how I built these things, you can look at it, those videos. Uh, but today I'm just gonna show you a little bit of the functionality of some of the things I have. And this is probably going to be my final build with Sienna because yeah, I'm actually quite happy with it. I might make a little improvements, but I'm not gonna, tear it apart and do another version like I've done in the past. So let me show you what I did. All right, so first we're gonna start with the outside of the van. And, and one thing that's different from my pre previous builds is this big old rack that I put in. And uh, I'll show you the rack and I'll show you um, the, the sunroof. But here you can see I have this toggle latch to latch on this the sunroof. And I have another latch on the other side. And I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but this, the, the solar panel itself works as a lid for my gear and it, it's also able to pivot so that uh, I could adjust it to where the sun is sitting. I'll show you that in a second. All right, so this side, I'm going to open up the toggle latch also. So now it's unlocked. And what I have in the front here is I have these hinges that I put on my uh, solar panels and you could look at all the dead bugs that I got on the solar panel. I just got back from a trip to the Eastern Sierras, so plenty of dead bugs, but let's take a look up top. Okay, so that's, that's the solar panel from the top view. I have this PVC pipe. That I put some notches in it, so it holds up the panel. This notch will slide within the crossbars. And the panel will be able to be adjusted to get a little bit more sunshine. And now that the, the panel and the lid is open, it can expose what I have here. And this is my storage, and it's basically a large underbed storage. And you, you kind of need that so that it's not so high. Uh, so let's take a look at what I have in, in there. All right, looking up here, let's open that up. And what I have here is I have a couple hammocks. I got a you know, emergency jacket and my fishing rod, fishing net, booties for fishing, fishing net. So you can see it holds a good amount of stuff that you don't want to carry in the car. Um, you know, things that you may not want to get to right away that it, it's a good good place to store those types of things as it sits it's just going to sit like that see there's still more room for a lot of other stuff so i could even put some firewood up here or something if that's what i so choose to do over there we'll take a look at that but that's my outdoor shower so the shower itself sits inside my basket and i put straps in it just so that uh, it doesn't go sliding around but it sits very securely inside the basket and i did design it so that it fits in the basket perfectly and this is where you would add water add water to it and screw that and this valve is an air valve so when you open that it'll allow water to flow through this i mean if if you if the, there's no air then you're not going to get much uh, flow so that'll open up the valve and let me show you how it works again in all in my other videos i have more details as how to, how i built this with the parts and things like that but it's basically just this pipe coming down and this valve and let me open up that valve and you'll see water flowing out let's close that and that is all gravity fed right now. And let me show you my two ways to use it. 
All right, so the first way to use it is I, I have, I hacked up a, a powered water bottle, water sprayer with this. And again, there's a video for it. You, you could click up that video to see how I built this. But uh, I hacked that up and what, what it is, is it, it's just basically a powered spray bottle nozzle that I have and this will shoot out the water. You know, it's not a super high power um, spray, but it, it'll get the job done if you, you know, want to get cleaned up. You can adjust the nozzle a little bit to, for how much you want it to spray. But th the nice thing is that this is USB battery powered, so, you know, you could just recharge it. You don't have to hand pump. You don't have to shoot air into your container or anything like that. It's just ready to go off the bat. So that, that that's one way you could spray yourself, clean yourself, or you could just wash something down, wash some of your gear. And let, let me show you the, um, the other way I have. You can shower. All right. So the other way I have to take a shower is I have this nozzle right here. That all these are the quick connects, so that makes it really handy. So what I could do, you could just quick connect this in. And uh, I have this this head here, and let me just open that. And you can see, you know, you can get quite a bit of water from this. You can take a shower pretty easily. Uh, it flows. It's all gravity fed, so you don't have to worry about shooting air into your system or any kind of uh, battery powered or electric power. You know, and for if you want to take an outdoor bath, you know, outdoor shower, this is great. If you want a little bit more privacy, I have something for that too. All right, so if you want a little bit more privacy when you shower, I got one of these things. So again, if you wanted a little bit of privacy, uh, you could stick the, the hose on the top side and then uh, you could turn it on and then you could take your shower in there. There's plenty of room and you can use this for uh, things other than showering too, if you like. So this thing, it's one of those folding things. You fold it up and it fits inside the bag. And I'll leave a link in the description for all this stuff if you guys are interested in any of it and it, if i forgot to leave something uh in the description just let me know and I'll, I'll leave a link for you let's get this thing packed up and then we'll start looking at the inside of the van all right coming into the front seat now there's not a whole lot of modifications that were done here but there is something that's very significant and it, you might have seen it if you've seen some of my past videos and that modification is the center console has been removed. Uh, that way I could lift up this arm and I could walk in and out very easily. Um, so I could access the back of the van from the front seat. I do, do not have to go to the side or climb over this center rest. Uh, there, there's still, you know, the, the cup holder right there. So I, I do lose the cup holders here. And I have my little storage here that I have for my glasses and things like that. And th this rechargeable battery is actually really good too. Um, so when I'm on a outside or want to recharge my phone or something, I'll use this instead of my outlets. Um, so that's that's the main thing in the center in the front cabin. And of course, you know there, there's the wood flooring too, but you're gonna see more of that later as uh, I show you the rest of the car. Okay, so this is the way uh, it packs up on the inside. And I built this little shelf um, from you know, using the, the storage unit. This is where the, there's a center seat that uh, the Sienna has that would fit right here that you could remove. But I just took out that seat and I'm using this space as storage. So one of the things that's really nice is using you know, the space for water bottles. And I prefer to use the square water bottles because, you know, it, it, It'll be more space efficient if, if they're square. They can get in there a lot better than a, a round uh, shape will. And that round shape, you know, you'll lose some um, surface area that, that you could be using to store more water, water bottles, bigger water bottles. I got my ax back here. And here, I, I got these two chairs. Uh, one, I have one on this side too. And uh, I, I got one free, but I, I really liked it so much. I bought another one. Um, they're, they're very handy. They they open up very small, um, and they store very small. They're very lightweight. So you know these are way better than the traditional uh, camping chairs that we've been using in the past that are made of steel and they're really big and heavy. 
Uh, so down here, you know, I got that container in case you ever need to use that container. It's a more storage for soap and things like that. Um, so here I got this this table that you know opens up into a little table. That that's really nice and handy too. It, it, it's small, packs away real nice. Let me show you under here. What I have is just a basket that I have that I could you know remove my stuff. And you know this is that shower nozzle that I showed you earlier. Um, come over here. Yeah, I have this little seat but I'm going to show you what when I use this seat later uh, but um, this is actually going to come in handy in a little bit this is a, a pillow a case a sh sheets and a, another comforter for the second bed I'll show you guys all that later this is where I keep that shower nozzle there's a, a bike pump if I need a bike pump and there's another um, water nozzle uh, USB water nozzle and I'll show you when and where I'll use that in a second too. So let's put all this stuff back. Uh, but you know, if, if you do buy you know uh, sheets or whatnot, keep keep the package. You know, you can store the sheets in it, and it'll keep it nice and clean. Okay, let me put all that back. Let's move this over, and I'll show you guys um, my drawer. All right, so I, I do have a video of this drawer already, but I'm gonna demo it again all together in this one video. So you pull out the drawer like that, and I have this legs here. And it's the legs. Once you get them up, you can put the nails in as a pin to hold it. And I got a pin on the other side too. That holds that. So now the legs are suspended, no problem. Let's pull it all the way out. Okay, so first off, when I set up my, my kitchen unit, I'll pull this out. There is going to be my paper towel holder. And what I have here is a hose to my sink. And the nice thing about using this hose is that when I'm using my sink, the water is not just going to drip down to my feet all the time. I'll be able to divert the water away from my feet so I won't be getting splashed all the time. All right, so next up in my kitchen setup is uh, these water bottles. What I'll do is I'll take, take out the lid and then I'll put in the faucet. And that faucet is going to allow me to use this sink and then empty the sink and store the tea kettle in there but you know these dishes you could just wash and then you put it upside down there I have a, a mesh uh, separator thing so your dishes aren't sitting you know right directly on the water uh, there's, there's this cup and I drilled some holes so that it'll drain so that I could wash my, my utensils and put them in there and let them dry out there's some sponges uh, soap this is oil for cooking, uh, you know, a mirror if you need to put on your contact lenses or something like that. Uh, but I'll show you when, um, where we can use the mirror when you're brushing your teeth and whatnot a little bit later when we're in the inside setup. Anyways, um, so these things, they're just drying out, but I normally keep them in here. And uh, we'll, we'll take a look at what it looks like in there in a little bit. But uh, this is a USB powered uh, faucet that I have here. And you know, once the water primes, you know, it's gonna run through. And the water comes down the pipe and it's just diverted away from my feet. You can see it's not splashing on my feet or anything. You know, I can wash the dishes in here, use it to clean vegetables or whatever I wanna do. It's not a super high you know, volume uh, pump, so that's good, so it conserves energy. I mean, conserves water, not energy. Paper towel and dry my hands. So let's put this back here for now. Okay, so underneath the, the stove, what I have is you know this little tray for for matches and bottle openers, scissors. I got my my bowls here that I just put there, a little straighter, and I also have some dishes. And 
again, they're, they're also square dishes, and it's for the same reason, you know, as the water bottles. So I think square is more space e efficient for this type of setup. When you're hurting for space, you know, using the square dishes will help you get a bigger size dish in, in a smaller space. Put that in with one hand. Some wipes. And over here, I got my pots and pans that I could get to. And here is where I keep my silverware so that it stays clean. Put that there. All right, so the stove just opens up like that and secure it down both sides. So, you know, it, it protects from the wind very nicely. Um, so that's the way it sits here. And what I did over here. Behind this, behind that, I build a slot for for the propane. So this propane uh, tube comes out here, and I, I have a, a shelf that I built for the propane canister. So you screw it in the propane canister, and it sits there, and the, it doesn't give it any stress because I built a, a shelf for it. So the canister sits on that shelf, and it sits nice and easy. That's where it looks. Coming on this side, you can see I have some storage for some spatulas and things like that. Uh, spice rack. You know, of course, you could put your aluminum foil and whatnot. And I have a, a slot for another propane over here. Uh, on this side, again, I just had extra aluminum foil, some more fuel for a, a backpacking burner, some more spices that's too big to fit into these slots oh I forgot to tell you over here in addition to this being a sink it's also my handy dandy cutting board I got my knife sitting right there but I try to do it with one hand so put, put this down So anyways, that's the lid of this container, this IKEA container that I have. And then here's a cutting board that I cut down to fit it inside the top. So now it's not just a sink, you know, I could use it as my cutting board and that works out really nicely. And it, it stores away really nice. You just store it like that. Let's put that back up, put this back over there. All right, so coming back over here, you know, the, the bigger spices and whatnot. And back here, I got a nice little rice cooker. This is a great little rice cooker. It doesn't use a lot of power. Of course, there'll be a link in the description for it. But I built a little shelf for it to sit right here. I have a little pot right here that was too big to put underneath my storage. And I got this uh, plug-in and USB. So this is where the microwave will plug in. The microwave will plug in here and th this plug will go down there <laughs> to the outlet and yes it is long enough i just don't have it plugged in right now for this microwave and yes the microwave works I, my power is sufficient for the microwave to function fine so that is a look at my uh my kitchen unit So to get everything back in, you just gotta take out these pins. And that'll free up the legs. You can just lift everything and push it all back in. It all goes in in one nice clean shot. Now the legs you just, will just sit in here. Like that. You close it up. All right, so now that the drawer is in, we can move inside the car a little bit. Here I have a carbon monoxide detector, a little light switch, a 
humidity temperature it's 94.8 degrees so it's a warm day in southern california uh here i actually i have a fire extinguisher and it's just using the old cup holders that uh that came with the van and also a cup holder and there's also a little um uh, storage thing here that you can store a few things um i over here, I have a little storage area too. I put my, my backpack and a few stuff, things that I could stuff in there. Uh, let's come back out and let's take a look at down here. Down here, what I have is, is plumbing. Yes, I have plumbing. And there's a funnel right here that sits right below the sink. There's a valve so that uh, I could turn on and off the valve to cut off you know, air circulation from the outside. I don't want exhaust coming into the car. So if I reach under, turn on the valve, that means now it's open and water will drain outside. If you look, there's the hole uh, and that is my sink. So this was lined up perfectly to the sink. Uh, so why do I want to do that? Just in case I want to wash my hands or something, I do have access to the sink. It's still right there. Um, what, to bolt down this whole unit, I have this this turnbuckle on both sides, and this uses the bolts that that used to bolt in the the chairs that was here. You know, that bolts similar to this guy right here. It's it's bolted right there, so I use those bolts. Turnbuckles, it's in real tight. So. Uh, let me show you another way I could use this sink and if I want to brush my teeth while I'm in the car. All right, so I, what I do is I put that handy-dandy little stool, foldable stool on, right there. I push the chairs forward, and I'm going to, what I'm going to do is pull this back. And in this scenario, let me take this out and leave it here. But going back to... Um, that drain if you see i have this this elbow and you're probably wondering wow why does he need such a big thing the reason is i want to be able to readjust it to come over here and now again it is directly underneath my sink so my sink will drain if i want to use my sink all right, so if i'm in the car and i want to brush my teeth right here there's plenty of room for doing that it, the, stink, the sink is still functional, and the faucet, you know, put up the mirror if you want to put on your contact lenses or anything like that. And, you know, if you need to make yourself look beautiful in the morning, like, you know, I wake up this way. All right, so I got my stuff back in, and let, let's pull up this chair. And before I uh, show you the bed, let me just pull this up. Okay, pull up the chair, and let me show you inside... Here, here's the chair it sits down I'm gonna sit down on that chair while I'm filming and as I sit here what I can do is you could see I have all these holes cut out and it's not just for weight reduction but it's cut out so I could still access everything on the inside and I could still use that microwave from the inside and over here I could still access the sink from the inside and I why I might want to do that? Well, in the slight chance I do want to stealth camp, I do have an option for that. And let me show you how I'm going to access my sink and everything from the inside. I already showed you how I could access it from back there, but I could still access it again from right here. Okay, so uh, sitting here from the inside, you can see I have plenty of room uh, if I want to stealth camp. And I'll show you this desk later uh, but i want to focus on this bed drawer unit right now so what i have right here underneath it let me show you what it looks like underneath it's three pieces if i take off the sheets it's it's these three pieces and what i can do is i could just take them off one each time and what I can do is I could access my stuff in here so I could cook in here if I like and, you know I could open this up and I could turn on this stove and I could cook right here 
I have this holder. I could put in the the, uh, the paper towel, and you can hang other things up there too if you like. And I have access to all the sinks, so I'm able to do everything right here without uh, locking everything off. A lot of these uh, drawer builds, you have to actually get out of your car, uh, pull everything out to get to anything underneath because it's completely sealed. But the way I built it is that you can actually get to everything <laughs> while you're inside the car. You don't have to get out of your car for anything. Um, so that, that works great. Here I have my, my pantry and you can see there's, let me show you what's in there. I'm not trying to show off what's in my pantry so much as I just want to show you guys how much room is in there. See, there's just a lot of room. You could stuff more things in here than, than you would think. So I got my rice, you know, some canned goods, freeze dried goods. And that's the window, of course. Uh, and this is one of my favorite things, this this little pantry thing that I built. Um, let's take a look at the top down. So here you have access to everything. And remember, that sink is fully functional because I have the drainage too. Stove. I can get to all the pots and pans and everything just like I was outside. Get to that microwave just like I was outside. All right. Let's put everything back and take a look at the bed. Okay, so next up I wanted to show you guys the bed and the size of it. I'm five foot eight and this is how it's going to sit on me. So it's actually quite comfortable. Um, you know, I have, even though the bed is only this big, I can still move to the space beyond the bed and out here beyond the bed. It, it extends a little bit wider where my chest is so that I have more room for my torso. So, you know, it sits up real nice, and if, I'm wanna, if I want to sit up, I could use this backrest right here. If I want to, you know, I don't read, but if I want to look on the iPad or something like that, watch a movie, it's, it's, it's actually quite comfortable. Oops. Of course, I would not have the towel there, um, but what I can do is, you know, just put, you know, just anything I want to hang up there, and I have... Um, the, the cup holder back here in the drawer and there's also some natural storage units that came with came with the car so there's this slot right here so I could put my cell phone or something in there if I like and uh, that's the way you know it'll sit really nice and comfortable uh, I'm really happy with this bed so let's take a look now at all right the other so this side I built this this unit right here which is separate from the bed so if you look at the video up there I'll show you how I could turn everything back into a storage van by just taking out that big drawer and putting down the chairs and I could have a nice storage van. So this unit here is separate and it, you can see there's there's a separate piece right there. See that? This separate shelf. And that just fits in with the with the bed. Take a look at it from the inside. See I have another light switch right here when I when I access some quick lights. Um, so here I have my my gear and some, you know, my hiking type gear, a uh, little hiking stove, insect repellent, lantern, water filters back there, a uh, little stove right there, walkie talkies. And these walkie talkies I have hanging up there and they're really nice because um, they're there's a USB cable that charges the, the double A's in here, so it acts as a battery charger too. Even if I'm not charging to use the walkie-talkie, I could always charge double A batteries using these walkie-talkies. Whoops. Hopefully I don't break them. You know, emergency jacket, and these two are emergency blankets, some camping fuel, more bug spray, um, sunblock, coffee maker, put this guy back up you know I have a bunch of hooks if I want to put things on the hooks you know like a the bear spray or pepper spray not really bear spray but underneath these hats you can see I have my lithium um, iron phosphate battery and I have my my big power inverter and if you want to see that setup you could click the link up there it's a uh, there's a whole video on how I did this setup you know plugs so if I wanted an extension cord right here to go out this is already plugged into the inverter this is a pure sine wave inverter which is necessary if you want to run a microwave 
I, I have a video where I did the testing on that too. You definitely need a pure sine wave. So that's the way this looks like in there. Let's come over here. I'm gonna move this chair back just so that you guys could see it better. But you don't need to move the chair back to access this stuff. So this, this blue curtain here, I'll show you how I use it in stealth mode in a little bit. Um, but here is my uh, battery charge controller. This is hooked up to the solar power. Um, so it's recharging the lithium ion uh, battery right now. There's some USB ports. This is the, uh, the cable I use to recharge the, the walkie talkies. And down here, I built this power switch. And it, just like it says, you know, this accessory is for the lithium battery and this is for the car battery. Um, so here, if I want to run my refrigerator off the car's alternator, I would just flip right there and then I could run, run, um, run the refrigerator off the car alternator or whatnot. Uh, I could also recharge my lithium battery through the car alternator. Um, and of course I could recharge the car battery through the car alternator, but so this switches between solar and the car alternator and this determines who's getting the load, whether it's the lithium battery or the car battery. So I have that option and these two ports is mainly for my refrigerator. Um, you know, if I'm traveling a long distance or at night, I probably want to use the car battery port, but in daytime, of course, I want to use the lithium port. Um, over here. There's a power strip so I can get to all the, yeah, so I get plug things in. And here's the, the refrigerator plug. I don't have it plugged in right now because I don't need the refrigerator on. Uh, under here is where all the wires go. You can see I could access it. some of it. It's a little hard to see right now, but anyways, that's the way it goes. Let's put the chair back. All right, so I'm in the front seat looking back and here's the view and I'm in the passenger seat right now. And you know, if I lift this up, you know, I could easily just walk back here through that space, no problem. I'm gonna sit down and now you can have a view of how I could relax. Even when I'm in the car, there's plenty of room relaxing if I need to wait for my son getting out of a game or something like that and I don't want to wait in the gym I can sit out here and the nice thing about sitting out here is I have my business class inspired seating here I have this table that goes up like that I have uh, this stool that comes out all right so looking at it from this angle I have this this stool that comes out like this and what I can do is I can use this as my footrest. Oops. What I can do is I could use this as my footrest if I want to uh, relax for a little bit. I got a table, side table. If I want to you know, look on the computer or something like that iPad, whatnot. This this is really nice because it folds up really nicely. Just take out that center piece, folds up. And I have a slot that I made specifically to fit this. It just goes in like that. There's this hinge. Let me show you the hinge. It's, so it's these hinges and I just push that down, just push it down over here, try to do this with one hand, and then it opens and closes and locks into place. So up front, I have my, my clothing cabinet, refrigerator center, you can kind of see what. So I, I took out the doorknobs and I put this because I didn't want my clothes getting caught on it in such a tight space, but this is not a big drawer, but it's Kind of like my gear gadget drawer with plugs and whatnot. Let me try to get that back in. And I have these RV locking uh, drawer things so the drawers don't go 
knocking around in here big flashlights and handy wipes and whatnot and you know this is more just to show you uh not so much what gear I'm, I'm carrying but just how things fit down here i got my refrigerator all right so here i have my refrigerator and i'll pull it out like that you can see the size of the refrigerator it's not a big one uh, but it gets the job done it actually works really well it doesn't consume a lot of power at all and you know what when when I have it hooked up to the solar powders, I could basically run it indefinitely here in California. I could leave it on 24-7 if I so choose to. All right, get that back in there. And let me show you this unit here. This unit here, I built around the chair so that uh, you know, it works seamlessly with the chair, as seamless as possible. But it is attached to the chair. So um, if the front passenger needs room, Uh, or doesn't need as much room, we could bring it up, bring it back. So when I'm driving, uh, you know, it could go all the way back, but everything is attached and it comes together. So that works out really nicely. When I'm in camping mode, I'll just bring it up for more space. And more space is going to lead us to the next thing. So the next thing is down here, I have my secret compartments. Um, so I have this hole drilled and there's two, actually two compartments and I just drilled one hole to access them both. Um, let me take out this one too. <laughs> let me take out both pieces. And here you can access my secret compartment. You can see I don't have a lot of things in it. I do have uh, some rope and... I have these dividers, these plastic dividers that work out really nicely. Got a little mesh bag. Um, so it gets deeper as you go down. And you know, so deep I could carry one of these. You know, some of you probably know what's in there. Um, got my toolbox. So anyways, you know, there's still a lot of room that I'm not even using yet. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna put in here, but it's just things if you, you don't need to get to it that often, it's a pretty good place to put things. Of course, it can't be too big either. Relatively flat things. And it fits really nicely like that. All right, so I already showed you how one person can be very comfortable in this setup with this lounge chair and the bed and, and the table and all that stuff. So what if I wanted to camp two people well, that, that's where I have this set up uh, in so that it's more flexible so that I could camp one person very comfortably or two people quite comfortably too with just a little bit of modification. So this chair, remember, I, I put it back in and the reason is I can put it back down and here I have my inflatable bed. that out there and in here I have my handy dandy pump I don't want to pump by hand All right, I'll leave a link for this pump if you're interested in this pump. Keep it right there. Also, this bed, there's also a, a way to, you know, step on it to pump it, you know, through your feet also, if you want to do that. But I'll leave a link into this bed too. This bed, it's thicker than your normal backpacking uh, mattress so that, you know, it's not going to bottom out. Uh, it's, you know, I slept on it already and it's quite comfortable. It, let me go back and get to you, go back to this that I have here. And it's basically just a twin fitted sheet. And it wraps around real nicely. There you go. So you get to sleep on a sheet, which is so much more comfortable than sleeping on plastic. And, and it's fitted, so it goes on real easy. You don't 
You can move it around. You don't worry about having it to come untucked or anything like that. Let me load, lay down and show you how I fit in this. I'll bring my head all the way up. And you can see I still have some room down there. And here there's more room for my torso also because it's opened up here. I can even move the bed further back if I want to. I can also move it all the way back there if I want even more torso room. So th this works out really nicely. Under here is that other set of uh, blankets that uh, you saw me store. And it's, it's just like the one I have up here. This way it, it stays clean, it's not dusty. I can store it underneath there. And this would be the pillow. Nice and clean. Second person. Okay, so the next thing is the insulation. Now, I just got back from a camping trip, as I said, and I didn't put these on, and I suffered. I'm a big cold wimp, and it was cold. Uh, so anyways, this will help bring that, you know, keep your car a little bit warmer. It's reflect X and there's some insulation. And this is just basically cut to the shape of the window and I just kind of wedge it in there. And let me do this for you real quick. All right, so I, I wedged it in. I didn't spend a whole lot of time getting it in real secure for this demo, but you could kind of see what, what that looks like. And I have the side window right there done. And those two pieces I just put right here. Let me show you the two side pieces. Over here next to my business class table, I got the two side pieces and it's just held with Velcro. And this will go on the two side windows. And let me put that on. Right, so now the sides pieces are in, uh, the back, back side and this side. So that'll help keep the car nice and insulated. Uh, the window gets pretty darn cold. And looking out here up to the front, I'll show you what we did up there. All right, so up here is where we have these blue curtains come up. And these things have Velcro sewed onto them. So the Velcro is going to fit snugly like that through the side and all the way down. And we're going to put up that Velcro all the way around. All right, so it's going to be like that. And of course, you can still go back in and out with that peep through the, through the middle. And let me show you how it looks on the other side. All right. So this is the way it looks and I didn't spend a lot of time putting the velcro up real nice and and tight so if, if you see some light coming in it's just because this is just for the demo uh, access in and out and of course I'm sure you guessed it this is also the stealth mode so you could see some light coming through, of course, because I didn't put things real tight. But, you know, when, when I stuff everything in really tight, this car is definitely capable of stealth mode. I, I proved that in a video already. And if you want to see that video, just click up there and you can see the stealth mode video. But anyways, that is the insulation, uh, curtains for some privacy or stealth, whatever you want to call it. But that's going to keep you warmer at night. Well... There you have my full van tour of my fourth Sienna build, and it's probably going to be my final Sienna build. Probably. Pretty sure. Kind of certain. Probably my last build. Anyways, it's Miller time.